This is your daily briefing. You're most welcome to it. Tottenham Hotspur are prepared to sell Emerson Royale this month after a training ground bust up with a member of the first team staff. Comes from Football Insider, I don't like. Normally their transfer stuff with Spurs has a little bit of a ring of truth to it. That If they are uh, in a situation where um, fisticuffs or handbags have uh, influenced things, um, there must have been more to it. Um, who is going to buy him? That's what I ask. Um, and if you look at players that we've hung around, comparatively speaking, for a rather long time, um, it was Adebayor. There was the other guy that did that um, small sort of Fura salute thing. I can't even remember his name now. Esacotto, es- that clown. You know, it must have been pretty severe. I'll leave it at that. Um, head coach Antonio Conte has said that he respects the club's transfer policy of signing younger players rather than experienced stars and goes on to name Manchester United midfielder Casemiro as an example, to which end Tottenham have offered a new contract to Romain Mundel. The academy graduate has been attracting interest from Köln and Eintracht Frankfurt, um, and they've both um, had the kid on their radar. Yeah, yeah, well, I'd get a new radar because the academy side have not won a game all year or thereabouts, but they've, they've been shocking. Um, Alistair Gold, uh, I saw a bit of his video because I tried to watch a whole one once and just couldn't uh, manage it. Um, looking sort of worries me and oh, things that I just don't understand. And I don't know. Disingenuous guff. You're there every week. You've got the opportunity to put in a civil way questions which would aid the cause of getting some enlightenment, sharing the wealth, the knowledge, but you don't bother. And it's all about getting eye contact with people. Oh, good morning, Antonio. I hope you're all right here. Absolute, you know, just mind bending. Um, And then we're fed a diet of this. And I'll come to the punchline at the end. I've got three bits here for you. Here's the first one. uh, Conte has been um, impressed with Papa Matassar during the two weeks he spent back uh, training at Spurs following his um, shenanigans with the um, World Cup with uh, Senegal. Yeah, OK. Uh, he's a big fan of Frank Kessie. Spurs have been keeping an eye on the player. And then he lists a, 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 an absolute uh, lost property box of players that Spurs are of interest to, uh, linked with, would like to, are monitoring. Vanderson, Dumfries, Malogusto, Pedro. Pedro Porro, um, Tete, Harvey Barnes, Ishmael Assar, Platy Watford, Zaha, 30, a coward, didn't work at Manchester United, and every time his contract starts to run out, we get dragged into the conversation, and the ultimately mediocre Malinowski. Now, if I was an activist, and I'll use this again like I did with that Jamie Weir character, if I was if I was in the show business end of this, um, I wouldn't have the the brass neck that's the polite language we'll use I wouldn't have the brass neck to sit there and go oh dear he's very bad I can't understand it and he just won if I was then part of the process that was churning out all these guano names that would bury us deeper in the mire so how do you want it Alas Dare how do you want it do you want to be you know do you want to be a journalist um, which I think would be safer location for you, um, or do you want to be a guy who's uh, I'm hearing and then putting out crappy names like this? Um, Dan Kilpatrick, another one. Antonio Conte believes they can upgrade on defender Jaffet Tanganga. Yeah, he just wants to beat people up at the moment, and if he doesn't get that fixed, um, he is broken, and I can't see who's going to buy him. Midfielder Pape Matassar and Oliver Skip also um, got question marks over Pape Matassar, that obviously cancels out Gold's uh, uh, comment there. Um, but Oliver Skip, not sure really why he's dragged into this. Um, he's had the fever, the chills, the aches and the pains, and he's been injured. Um, um, and a bit of surgery, so uh, I don't think he's going to be a superstar, but I, I think getting rid of him at any point in the immediate future will be a little bit um, over um, over eager. Um, so, yeah, um, and he adds here, and this is just gives you an indication of who's talking to you. Tottenham are ready to back Conte, but the Italian has said he does not want to work with a bloated squad, so Spurs will be aiming to upgrade an existing squad for players rather than add numbers. Um, unfortunately, spoken like a child, spoken like a, a paper boy at best, um, 
Conte has looked at his squad. It was very clear that he made an assessment when he came in and he identified who was going to cause him problems, who was going to cause him angst, and he's not played them. Um, so it's a question of getting rid of those guys. And this is the cycle we're in. We buy cheap, we buy low, we buy mediocre. They don't impress and then they just end up staying with us forever. Hello, Ben Davis. Hello, Eric Dyer. Uh, Fabrizio Romano. We've got half a dozen things from him. Uh, Conte loves Harry Kane. Uh, this would be pivotal um, in respect of him signing a new contract because um, he has some guarantees on Kane also staying at Spurs. Uh, crucial for Conte. The striker remains at the club. Um, Daniel Levy doesn't want to lose Kane. Um Listen, I think Kane's going to stay with us forever. I don't think that's the issue. That's, you know, just a sort of side dish. Both for Conte, if Kane went, that'd be the end of it. But also, I think Levy knows that he could survive losing Conte because people don't like the football. There's a lot of stupid people out there still think this is Conte's fault. Um, but Daniel Levy, I don't think he could survive losing Harry Kane. Um, new contract for Eric Dyer, says Fabrizio, is not in an advanced stage. And you're damn right. Um, Levy's many things, but he's not stupid. You announce that anytime soon in the next few weeks and there'll be absolute kittens um dreadful player been with us far too long didn't buy conte's excuses the other day but what else is he going to say he's not going to sell him down river um says here that uh, difficult for alexis McAllister to leave brighton during the january transfer winner yeah i think he's got i think he's going to italy personally um and this is the killer at, at atlanta's ruslan malinovsky would love to join spurs i bet he would yeah bet he would um uh, Spurs are, are, are uh, currently in negotiations. Sorry, are not in negotiations with Sporting for Pedro Porro. Well, glory be and thanks be to the sweet, merciful Lord for that. He's tut. Um, Di Marzio, Juventus will be looking for at least 40 million for Weston McKenney. Um, I would say his approximate street value would be his weight in polystyrene chips, but that's just me. I'm miserable. Um, everybody says that Valencia want to sign Brian Gill on an 18-month loan deal with an inclusion of a realistic purchase option. However, they cannot uh, match his current salary and he'd have to either take a pay cut um, or Spurs to subsidise his wages. <sighs> yeah, OK. Um, he's been a mistake. Um Daniel Levy's got a lot of um, washing of his face to do here. And by that, I mean a lot of not apologising, but just reversing and, and getting rid of, of guys that he's brought in that are, are completely at odds with this coach. Um, and that's the lunacy under which Levy conducts himself. Um, Daily Mail... Tottenham are anticipating talks with Napoli next week over the permanent sale of midfielder Dongi Ndombele, which is tremendous news. Uh, curiously enough, went through his numbers this morning, went through the data. Not a lot to show you there. I was trying to put a video together to sort of give hope, but there isn't any. There was a couple of decent sort of forward balls in the attacking third. Um, but he, he, they, there's just not anything of great substance going on with the lad. That's the problem. Um, and the mail again, Tottenham, Man United and Chelsea all considering signing Jordan Pickford after contract talks stall. Yeah, I just think he's got very small arms. That's my concern with uh, Pickford. Um, Villa on Sunday, of course. Bookies have Spurs at four to six. The Villa are four to one, and the draw is three to one. My prediction is false hope, ladies and gentlemen. That's it for now. Good luck. Keep it on them.